So, we're out at um, Scotts Bay, and we're just going to be doing the uh, hike into Amethyst. It's uh, just right at lunchtime, um, noonish, and if you're wondering where the trailhead is, you just park over the parking lot. Um, go to the Cape Split uh, Trail, and then you'll notice uh, there's a trail heading up in this direction. So we'll just do a little panorama. Here's the neighbor's place. And the trail is starts right here. There's a few twists and turns, and there's no real markings, but it's pretty beaten down, so you probably really can find your way. So here we go. So it's been for us uh, what eight years? Oh, at least. Yeah. So we've had a lot to do, a lot of other things, but yeah. we're finally back. <laughs> so we're now at the top where the trail cuts in down over the uh, cliff and this is what it looks like you don't want to go any farther than this it's not a very well marked trail to come in and you had to make a couple of turns in the forks in the road but whether they'll be here when you come there was always an orange piece of tape to guide you and as you get closer it was actually a couple of green pieces of tape so couple of little things uh, but there's not a lot of traffic in here because there ain't too many tracks so it's uh, so this is where you want to make the uh, this is the most important turn but there's a few turns that you have to make on the way up and I'll film those going back just so you don't get lost anyways have a great day today is just perfect I think it's about it's going as high as what 13 14 yes and there's absolutely no wind and it's uh, so over and out this is at the very top, and it only takes you from the parking lot to get to here. There's actually a bench coming up. It only takes about uh, 20, 25 minutes. Brand new bench in memory of uh, a dear friend. And this is right at the top. See this sign? And you see the water down below? Look at the gloves. You'll know you're here. And there was gloves. Uh, there was gloves. We came here nearly 10 years ago, and there's gloves. That, gloves uh, are still here. They used to be in a bucket uh, attached to the tree with the bucket. So it's got a new, uh, new lease on life. So. See you halfway down. Enjoy, enjoy the ride. <laughs> okay. So this is definitely the most challenging part of the whole descent. Coming up over there. There's another rope here, but be careful if you don't get tangled up in the ropes. But it's clear sailing from here on. Yeah. Over and out. So I probably mentioned that uh, the big obstacle here is not just the hill, but also the tide. So I always come down on an outgoing tide um, to make sure you're not going to get caught. So here's the last pitch, and you can see that we're probably a little oh more than God. a little more than halfway down. Oh my God! Here's my partner. I don't think I can. <laughs> here's my partner in crime here. Oh, my legs yes, are we, just uh, shaking now. Let's have a look at the back of those legs. Ah, eh. oh, they're beautiful. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, we'll see at the bottom. This is a view at the bottom at low tide. That way, we're escape split. This way, around Blomid. So, you can see there's lots of beach. Yeah. <laughs> 
there are a couple of things. Don't bring, don't bring hiking sticks. Just get in the way. Bring some gloves. Maybe you can try to get on the rope. I wouldn't do it in particular with wet conditions. It is pretty slippery. But yeah, it's worth it. That took, uh, after stopping many times, that took maybe 20 minutes. Over and out. I remembered like the trail in wasn't extremely long, but it was just coming down over the hill. Absolutely spectacular fall day. Beautiful colors, but you can't see them in there because of the shadow. But uh, easy beach if you've got the right uh, footwear. We did it. We're finished. <laughs> this part. <laughs> The perfect place uh, for a bench. Oh man, I guess. I said I've got a place to the bench. <laughs> uh, what's, what's your pulse rate? Oh, I don't know, I don't have a watch on.